All right, guys, so like I said before, we're working on the Mark 6 GTI. We're trying to get it ready for H2O. So we're installing the shift knob. And I already showed you guys how to pretty much install it. I'm just going to show you how much you got to cut off. Um, you just take a little Dremel, cut off the top uh, so it can actually sit a little lower. And then it actually feels nicer. It's actually, I think, the GS. Yeah, it's the GS. So it looks like a 20th anniversary shift knob. Feels a lot nicer, smaller. Uh, it's not as heavy as the one I have. I think it's the GS2. But it's pretty nice. So same installment process. Now we're going to install the keys. And we'll get ready on top. Alright guys, I don't remember if I mentioned it before. But this car had a problem with the tank always being empty. And I looked in all the lines, looked in all the bags. Everything was fine. Last time it was here to do the front bags that were messed up. Um, I was like, let me just take my time and see what's wrong. First problem was the water trap. It wasn't actually catching any water. It was letting it all stay in the tank. So I came to the tank. I'm like, I hear something. Now the tank has these little bubbles. And as you can see, this is where all the air is coming out from. Yep. So we got a new replacement tank and we're gonna I just removed the bottom plug to see exactly how much water we have on the tank. I just want to show you guys what moisture can do. This is pretty disgusting. And the whole tank looks exactly like that inside. All right, so I cleaned it up. I put some Teflon around the threads. Now to install it back in the tank. Just make sure you put it back how it was in the old one because those hard lines have a certain shape. Um, pretty much just put Teflon and then just roll it in there. And then tighten it up. Uh, for the big nuts, it's a 19. And for the little one on the bottom, it's a 15. All right, so most tanks usually have your bottom nipple for uh, filling up your tank. Let's say, let's say, um, for some reason your compressor just takes the shit. So um, you have one of these little valves so you can fill up your tank with air so you can actually get home safely. So whenever I used to press this one, I'm like, why is there nothing coming out? Just a little water used to come out. I'm like, that's weird. But that's why. It was completely clogged. So now I'm going to have to declog this or see if I have a spare one and then fix it okay so now it's back in its spot and no leaks next thing we're gonna change is the trap okay okay so now I got to the water trap my boat was like ever since I got the car um, bagged it never worked I'm like that's weird but it's fully clogged like you can't really see in there uh, we got another one but we he ordered the wrong size so let me just uh, try to clean this out test it see if it works if it works then we're gonna keep this one and he can return the other one so this kit was used I don't know if this water trap was new or used but if it was used it was completely clogged so I'm guessing this was the bad part um, this water trap got stolen thinking it was new or in good working condition and then it was fully clogged so this wouldn't clean out the the actual moisture of the tank so it just stayed inside the tank and then it got clogged so it just the, all the pressure was staying inside there which sucks but all right so here's just a little progress on it um so you can see it's like all gooey in there um i'm just gonna keep scraping away and because right now the little button down here gets stuck up Cause it's like I don't know like what is this like rock or salt or whatever it is um, but yeah so I'm gonna clean that out right now okay so I got a pick and pressed it and all this mud came out of it so now it's actually like working as it should be working okay so first thing you want to do is remove the bumper uh, you can start with the grill moving the four screws from the grill the screws in each side and then the flaps on the side so we can get 
to actually removing the bumpers. All right. So once you remove the bumpers, the clips we're going to be replacing, well, mount, it's this whole bottom mount and the actual headlamp mount. This one's actually missing a few, as you can see, it's, it's a little loose. Um, if these break, like right here, this one's broken, they won't clip on the actual bumper. That's why they don't um, like actually hold on to the bumper. Like I was saying, I'm going to show you my car. Uh, I have to buy new ones as well. The bumper clips are fine. You see, there's no cracking, no nothing. But you push it in, and it just pushes back out. I've seen a couple of Mark 6 with that problem. So that's what we're going to do to this one. We're going to fix it. All right, so you're going to remove one, two, those two top screws from up there. You're going to remove one, two, three screws. This one should pop up. Um, usually there's a little piece, so you can see this one is broken. Um, there's a little clip in here. You just move it out of the way, and this pulls out with a flathead. Uh, like I did it in the Mark, my Mark 6, that little flathead. Just move it forward, and now the whole assembly can come Okay, out. if you had a regular light, um, I'll be able to take this out, but since my boy has some really sexy Osrams, um, the, LA, the HID cable is still connected to the back of this, and is all connected to the battery, so I do not want to remove that. So, to remove the headlight from the bracket, you got to remove this screw that's right there, which is pretty much this one right here, and this one right here, which is this one. All right, so I'm going to put the link down below for these. I got these on eBay for like $27. So yeah, I got these on eBay for like 27 bucks. And what it's going to do is going to replace this front piece. And it's going to give you all new clips here. So you can see where we're missing this one here and this one here. So these two clips. Um, now, you don't have to get this one but his on the passenger side the screw is actually broken in there so he needed both of these so pretty much to remove this other plate from here you just got to remove this um i think it's a it's either a 12 millimeter or a t25 yeah i think it's a t25 yeah a t25 okay so as you can see those are the sliders it has to slide into um just like that so i'm gonna take off this screw because right now it's not lined up properly so these two can go on all right so the bracket is on this is up i just gotta put in the two little screws in here and pretty much this side is done now this side didn't really matter what matters as you can see is this bracket was broken here so there's nothing holding this bumper on um, it was just the one screw back there because all this was missing. Okay, I put the brackets on and I put the bumper on. Now for the I'm still to put in the screw right here. But as you can see, they hold on to the clips real nice. Now there's no other screw right now, just these clips on. I need to be careful here because I yeah, remember, I don't remember if you saw the last video. Alright, for the next part of the H2O prep, uh, we're going to be replacing the actual um, bearing on this, the hub, because it has like this for the lug nuts. And you can see this one is all eaten up. So, same thing that happened to my girl's car. He took it to a shop and that the shop fucked it up. So, now I gotta remove the brake. You're gonna remove the axle and take all this out. Now, replacing the bearing on this or hub is the same process on the Mark V. There's the four screws in the back with the uh, 12 point, um, I think it's called triple square. Uh, those are for the Volkswagens, for the axles for this, so you should invest in those. Now, once you put up everything back together, make sure you sign up the bolts from the caliper carriers. And what I like to do is I put the nuts in here, loosen up that bolt, and make sure it's centered because sometimes the rotor stays a little crooked once you put in the screw. So, test fit everything that everything is fine. Okay guys, so the car is finally finished. Um, you got the new shift knob on, the new um, wheel bearing, bumper brackets. So you can see now the bumper fits flush. Uh, here needs a little bit of love, but that's because the fenders are rolled. 
Other than that, the car's done. I just gotta put the little caps back on the BBSs. And she's ready.